Do you know that infections can trigger autoimmune neurological problems? Yes, they do. Myself, Dr. Eshwan Paidimari, consultant neurologist, Eshwada Hospital, High Tech City, Hyderabad. What actually happens whenever anyone gets an infection? Our immune system goes and fights with the infections. Our immune system will start producing antibodies. These antibodies will go and kill the infection. Over some time, once the infection completely knocks out from the body, our immune system should stop producing the antibodies. But for some people, this will not stop and the process goes on. The excess antibodies which are produced inside the body, they go and damage the healthy brain, healthy spinal cord and healthy nerves as well. So depending on the location, nervous system involved, the symptoms will be there. If the brain is involved and the brain undergoes damage, the patient will have confusion, fits, vision disturbances and arm and leg related issues. Whereas if the spinal cord is involved, that is called as transverse myelitis, there will be sudden loss of power in the arms and legs, loss of bladder and bowel control. So if the nerves are involved, patients will develop tingling sensations followed by gradually over a period of five to seven days, patients will develop inability to walk, inability to get up, all these kind of symptoms. For the brain, the symptoms are these, if at all, if you come across any kind of symptoms after recovering from the fever, within a span of two to four weeks, if you come across all these kind of symptoms which I have explained, then any neurologist will work up in the line of autoimmune neurological problems. For this reason, if you come across any kind of symptoms, kindly reach out to me at Eshoda Hospital, High Tech City. Like, comment, and subscribe for more health updates.